Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing a very fun video and that is going to be a what is in my teacher bag video. I've never filmed one of these before and it's also a brand new bag that I got from my roommate and so I'm really excited to share what I am going to bring to my student teacher internship. And if you are new here, hi, my name is Haley. I am a first grade student teacher and I am loving it so far. I am currently going to be student teaching Tuesday and Thursdays all day long and so I'm so excited to just be in the classroom more and just start my internship more and yeah and so if you guys want to see more teacher related content like outfit of the weeks and day in the life of a student teacher make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and so without further ado let's get started okay so i'm really excited for this quarter because i'm going to be in the classroom more often and i'm also going to be taking the tpa and so I feel like I'm going to have to be very organized and prepared for this quarter. And so you will see that there is a theme in what is in my bag. And so I have never used like an actual bag before. This is the first time that I'm going to be using it. So I will have to let you guys know what I think about it. But my roommate Jennifer actually gave me this bag. It's just this like really pretty rose gold um, bag. It's like a tote style and it's kind of glossy it's showing up way glossier on the camera than it actually is and it's pretty big and spacious and so i'm really excited to use this and so if you're watching thank you jennifer and so let's just get into what is in my bag okay so the first thing that i have in my bag is this really big binder and so it is a pretty big binder if you can tell it is a one and a half inch i think I don't know, but it's this really big binder that I got at Staples, and the reason for this really big binder is that for my EdTPA, I want to try to be as organized as I possibly can with the EdTPA because it is such a huge assignment, and so I'm just going to show you what is in my binder so far. So the first thing that I have is just this little calendar month for January, and then behind it is February as well, and so I'm going to try and work on little parts of the EdTPA throughout the quarter. Um, so every day I will write down what I'm going to do for like which part and stuff. And so you can see like tomorrow is the 8th and I just wrote choose my EdTPA unit for it so that I can start working on it. And so I'll be doing this. And then I also have some to-do lists that I printed out online. So it has each day of the week and then I will just write the things I need to get done each day related to the EdTPA. And so this is going to be my everything at TPA binder to try and get myself to be as organized as possible. And then I also printed out the actual ed TPA, which was 61 pages by the way, but I double sided it and my teacher required us to do that. So don't give me any comments about trees and things. I know that paper is really important and you should say paper, but I had to print it out. And so this binder is the first thing that is in my bag and it's something that I'm going to keep on me at all times while I'm at school and at, um, at internship and so I'm excited to get this started. The next two things I have in my bag are also related to planning and so the first thing I have is a teacher plan book and so the difference between a normal planner and a plan book is that um, the plan books look like this and so each day and then you write the subjects on the side right here so then like you can do math all throughout the week and what you're going to do in math each day and etc for reading writing etc so i'm having one of these because this quarter is when i'm actually going to start like planning um different for all the different subjects and um teaching them and planning with my ct and so i'm excited that i got this this is from amazon i really like it and then it also has um a month calendar as well which I don't know how much I'll utilize but if I do this will be specifically for um, teaching not just my like personal life if that makes sense um, so I'll have like my EdTPA binder which is only for EdTPA and then my teacher planner which is only for teaching and then I also have just my other planner that this is gonna be for like life YouTube um, trips etc and so I just have this planner it's just this marble and then it has like gold details. This is from Marshalls. I really like it so far. It's pretty big and it just has like a quote and then it has the tabs for each of the months. And so if you like flip to January, you can see that I already put in like my work schedule, 
in my class schedule. I actually um, filled this out during a vlog. I will link it up above if you want to see my process of kind of planning for the new corner quarter. And so then it also has um, a big weekly spread. And so you can write everything you need to do on each day. So this is the next thing I have in my um, bag. Also relating to that, I think as a teacher, it's really important to stay organized. And also one of my New Year's goals was to stay organized more in my daily life. And so that is why this is incorporated into my teacher life as well. And then the next thing that I have in my bag is this little pencil pouch. This is actually from England. I went there like, I guess it's been almost four years now, which is insane. But it just says this like little live, laugh, love quote. I don't know, I just have used this throughout college. And so inside I just have like all of my flare pens, which if you're a teacher and you have not used the flare pens, they're awesome. And so I have a bunch of those. I have like some pencils and normal pens and highlighters and erasers and etc. Just all the things I could possibly need to write with while I'm at my internship. And then the next thing in my bag is this little gold pouch. It's really cute and it's like canvas. And so this is gonna be my like me personal type of bag. And so I still need to put like some ibuprofen in here, but this is just gonna be things that I might need because now I'm gonna be there more often and so I want to make sure I'm taking care of myself as well and just have things in case something comes up. So in my little pouch um, I obviously have some tampons because I'm a lady and then I also have some deodorant because sometimes I don't know if you about you guys if you guys are teachers you should let me know down below. Sometimes when I teach lessons I just like get so nervous or like if I'm being observed I like start getting really sweaty and so it's good to have some backup deodorant to reapply during the day. I also have some gum. This is just some Orbit, I think it's spearmint gum, um, just to have on hand. I also have some body mist that is from Victoria's Secret. This is the brand that is uh, Noir Tease. It smells so good. This will be great to have just on hand to use sometimes. And then I also have just a backup mascara if I ever need to touch up a little bit. And then I also just have some concealer and it's almost gone so I will have to buy a replacement bottle but this will do for now. And then the final thing in my little like me bag is this little chapstick because it's winter time and my lips are so dry of course because I have the driest skin in the whole entire world. But I just have this chapstick just to have um, on hand while I'm there. And then some other obvious um, items that I will have in my bag that I don't actually have on me is I'm going to obviously have a water bottle with me at all times. Hydration is so important. Sometimes as a teacher we forget to take care of ourselves too while we are taking care of our kiddos. And so I'm going to try and make sure that I am drinking just as much water as I am normally. I also am going to have my lunchbox in there because teachers gotta eat. And that is everything that is in my teacher bag. As of now, it will probably change. I'm very lucky where my CT has a lot of supplies in our classroom and she actually gave me a desk that I can use and she allows me to use all of her supplies so I don't have to bring like markers or paper or anything like that. Um, and so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!